Welcome to the inspection of our brand new air assets. Last year has been a tough year for all of us, but with the grace of God and the unending support of the President and our Secretary of National Defense, our vision to become a credible and capable Air Force is progressively coming to fruition. Proof to that is that we have been getting continuous delivery of air assets. Up to last, from last year, for example, up to this week, you can see them in, uh, here, in front of the hangar. Last year lang po yan, up to this year. All in all, to my count, during the term of the President, the Air Force received from Modernization and Extensive Defense Article, I believe, 48 aircraft in total. As we are fired up to fly these new air assets, let us look forward to the inspiring words of our guest of honor that will surely set our hearts and spirits ablaze so that we can continue to pursue our mission with Diwa, Galing, at Malasakit. It is therefore my honor and pleasure to welcome our Commander-in-Chief, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, Secretary of National Defense, Delfino Lanzana, Chief of Staff Armed Forces for the Philippines, General Subihana, and all of you who are present today. Tunay na nakaka-proud at nakakataba ng puso isiping ito na po ang inyong Air Force ngayon. Again, my warmest welcome to everyone. Thank you, sir. Sure. May we call on Secretary Delfin and Lorenzana, Secretary of the Department of National Defense, to introduce our distinguished guest of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. Salamat po. Former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, Presidential Advisor on Military Affairs Under Secretary Arthur Tabaquero, Senator Bongo, AFD Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Cerilito Subihana, Philippine Air Force Commanding General Allen Paredes, Pangpanga Vice Governor Lilia Pineda, Mabalakat City Mayor Pisostomo Garbo, Norcom Commander Lieutenant General Arnolfo Burgos, the officers and enlisted personnel of the Philippine Air Force, mga kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan. How beautiful it is to look at the sky at dusk and to think that we control our skies in our country. I'm almost tempted to talk extemporaneous, but it, al alam mo pag kami mga politiko, pag bungo kayong bunga nga, matagal, matapos, and uh, I have to go home to Davao now because I have to fulfill an engagement there. Our efforts to strengthen our military have been vital in ensuring that we are able to fulfill our sworn and shared duty of protecting our sovereignty and safeguarding the welfare of the Filipino people. I am just glad to join all of you today as we laud the many accomplishments of our men and women in uniform who have consistently shown dedication and excellence in serving our motherland. I also congratulate the Department of National Defense and the Armed Forces of the Philippines for successfully procuring additional government air assets that will play an indispensable role in safeguarding our nation. Presently, I have approved the proposal to acquire 
more combat utility vehicles of the AEP, with the recent gains against various terror terrorist groups. I am confident that our efforts under the AFP modernization program are already paying off. I am particularly pleased with your efforts to eliminate the terrorist groups in Northern Luzon, which have led to the genuine peace and sustainable progress in the area, as well as the first, has fostered greater camaraderie among the government security forces operating in the region. Today, we confer the order of Lapu-Lapu with the rank of Kamagi to outstanding officers and enlisted personnel who took part in restoring peace and order in Sulu in November last year. Your gallantry, bravery, and courage are truly exemplary. Alam mo, hindi lahat Pilipino, not really to derogate or raise, but mahirap itong trabaho na ito. You stare eyeball to eyeball with death. You know, I was just about 16 years old when I took my solo flight. I accumulated along the years of about 800 hours. Ang gipraktisan lang ho namin ay yung L4, the World War II vintage spotter plane, the L4, and uh, when I stopped, I was uh, flying the Super Cub. I hope that your fellow soldiers will look up to you as a source of inspiration and strength, especially when it is the turn to face the battlefield. As we celebrate your achievements, let us also know, let us also take this occasion to remember the honor of our uniformed personnel who died in the helicopter crash in Bukidnon. I express my deepest condolences to the families they have left behind. But the day after, I was talking to the DND secretary. Sabi ko, Del, uh, palitan mo na yung, is there a way where we can replace itong the aging and the old UV? Alam mo, atin atin lang ito, but we know deep in our hearts that every time that you know, uh, old helicopter flies. Medyo may kabat tayo that it can falter on its own with nobody, nobody's intervention. Eh, nire-repair nga pero matagal na talaga uh, on all the metal fatigue and the constantly boring sa pag-repair. It will take its toll on the helicopter itself. Sabi ko kay General Lorenzana na is there a way where we can replace them? Sabi niya, we have a pending still order of uh, 32. Is it 32? Well, I can buy more or less, ko ng lima yan o anim before I go. Pero I cannot give you the entire 32. It will be spread along in a number of years. But maghanap ako na magdadagang ko ng mga baski lima and to face out uh, UV. Ang eh, gaganda-ganda ng black hole. Eh. Puro, alam mo ganito yan. Ah. Uh, nandito si uh, Chief of Staff. Ang problema ko kasi whenever I read my briefer every every night, ang uno kong tinitignan yung mga sundalo kong nasawi. And of course, the wounded. And it grieves me deeply to realize that uh, 
we can improve on this in terms of fighting in capability and the airworthiness of yung sabi ko na kailangan talaga mapalitan na to I mean it, it's uh, it has come to age uh, for retirement hindi na talaga pwede so in, it, it could be an insertion of the troops or transport or whatever uh, humanitarian runs that you have to make uh, it, itong mga bago madagdagan lang naman sana hindi, hindi itong pwedeng na, ganito lang kasi bugbog ito pag bugbog ang equipments mo uh, medyo ma alanganin rin tayo so kung madagdagan ng 32 yan that would about uh, maybe complete really the requirements the standard minimum requirements of a working air force now the reason why i am so i am I'm, I'm, I'm walking on a tight rope actually i cannot afford to be brave in the mouth against china because well we are uh, avoiding any confrontation a, a confrontation that would lead to something which we can hardly afford at least not at this time kaya ko naman sa america well uh, in the past marami silang paghihinakit ko rin we, we ask so much uh, of them because they have taken so much from us libre sila to advance their uh, troops uh, in our land okay lang yan sa akin but we do not like it because we want to remain neutral we do not want to quarrel with anybody but for the reason is that the exigency of uh, the moment requires their presence here. Okay na lang ako dyan. Uh, but in the past, we ordered so much from them and so much were not delivered at all. Kaya, huwag ninyo ako. Kaibigan ako ng Amerika, kaibigan ako ng China. But what I don't like is yung para kang bata na they promise you and they, ganun yan eh. Mapunta yung mga top brass nila, this group will promise you. Once they take off, they forget our market. And nobody is following uh, until you keep on reminding them. And there's a time that I was able to talk to President Trump. Sinabi niya, what are the requirements? So uh, we need the guided rockets. Uh, we have been asking for it. And as a matter of fact, we are willing to pay for it, Mr. President, but until now, it's still in the air. Uh, I think it was delivered uh, after a few weeks, few months. Kaya ganun na, do not be surprised with my... I'm, I'm not aligned with anybody. I'm, I, I am ally. I'm ally. Ila, i-alay ko, buhay ko, pati ang alay ko, ang Pilipinas. Nobody else. Yun ang tandaan nyo. Kung marinig nyo ako, it's, uh, uh, the game here is uh, geopolitics. The theater is really geopolitics. So ako naman, I'm just, uh, hold on, no, no, may salita ko, not really to seriously offend. But sinasabi ko sa kanila na hindi, hindi po ito. Uh, I would like to put on notice uh, if there's an American agent here that uh, from now on, you want the visiting forces agreement uh, done? Well, you have to pay. It's a shared responsibility. But your, your share of responsibility does not come free. Because after all, when the war breaks out, 
we all pay. You, kami, the nearest to the garrison, there were a lot of arsenals of the Chinese uh, armed forces. Yun lang, kaya makita mo minsan, suplado. Suplado talaga ako. I, I, when I deal with them, talagang nagiging suplado ako. Simply because of past and the pinaka-past until now, kung hindi mo makausap mo President, dito ngayon wala akong, I don't expect anything. Uh, it's different when it is the Republican and uh, a Democrat. A Democrat, uh, they, uh, new migration, uh, they're allowing migration left and right. Uh, but, but that is their problem. Ang Amerika naman is, uh, war hawks talaga sila. But at least, uh, inaano tayo. Uh, nilalagay lang sa back burner yung mga samaan ng loob. So when the opportunity came and I talked to President Trump, sabi ko talaga sa kanya, we have been hope, we are hoping for that, we have been promised, and until now, it's still kaput. And I hope that the Americans would uh, take notice of that. But the nearest, their nearest uh, possible unconvenient outpost would really be the Philippines, the eastern side, and Palawan. Kaya tandaan nila yan, I hope they would understand that we are the nearest to a theater of war. Uh, ang panatan dyan, it would be submarines and aircraft carriers and all. Madadamay talaga tayo. I do not want to participate in any adventure of that kind, if I can help it. I am not against the Chinese, neither am I. Hindi uh, ako pro-American. I am just a Filipino government worker working for the interest of my country. As we celebrate your achievements, let us take this occasion to remember and honor our uniform personnel, everything it was, and the others who have died in the battlefield. Ah, uh, nung pumunta ako ng ano, just give me about a little, nung pumunta ako ng hulo, nung no matay, needlessly useless yung kamatayan ng binumba. Sma talaga ang loob ko. Nakita ko yung kalahating katawan ng sundalo. So, sabi ko kay Bongbong, punta tayo. Sabi niya, delikado mo yun. Kaya, kung panahon na natin, pati tayo, do doon, yan, doon tayo matatapos, di doon. That's about the journey of life. Punta ako. But totohanan yan, it might really have looked corny. Hilas sa uh, Bisaya. Corny yan sa... Corny on um, Hilas. But I did it purposely to honor. Ang sabi ko lang doon, when I kiss the ground, hindi ka malang nakapagdasal baski isang salita. Not even to mention the name of God. Kaya hinalikan ko yung lupa sa, sa asar ko na sa, I hope that their families and friends and comrades will take this of comfort in the thought that they are now in a more peaceful place with our Creator. True. They are now in the heavens and uh, you can rest assured that uh, your comrades and the family that your loved ones. I do not believe in hell. I do not think that God will create hell. Otherwise, what would be his business in creating a hell when in the first place God created us? Then God would create something where he knows the beginning and the end of a human being in his journey in this planet. 
na mapupunta ng impyerno. That's a stupid proposition. Everybody, compassion. So, God is forgiving. God is a forgiving God. Eh, kaya nagpapako sa cross yung bibigan natin to save us from sin. Then what would be the purpose of being nailed in that cross when in spite of that, may pirno pa pala tayo? On this note, allow me to convey the, lo the, the love and respect of a grateful nation. Again, I thank the ded dedicated men and women of our armed forces for their unwavering commitment and selfless service to the Filipino people and the entire nation. Again, in gratitude. I assure you that this administration will remain steadfast in doing our best to ensure to improve the welfare of the families of those who have gone ahead Lahat naman tayo pupunta dyan, whether in the service or outside, then we will see each other there. Do not believe in hell. And I have taken an issue with that, with my religion. It does not make any sense at all. Together, let us remain partners in protecting the life and liberty of all Filipinos and the sovereignty of our nation. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, for gracing this momentous event. We are very honored with your presence. Let me salute all of you. Yes, sir. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Laban Pina.